Hello guys and welcome to this video about the Danis and Weber classification of the malleolar fractures of the ankle joint. So this classification was first described in the 1949 by the Belgian uh, general surgeon uh, Robert Danis and it was later modified by the Swiss orthopedic surgeon uh, Bernard Weber in the 1972. And in this video, I'm going to define this classification. Then I'm going to uh, explain each grade of this classification in details. So let's start. So it is a three grades system to classify malleolar fractures of the ankle joint. And it is based on the location of the fibular fractures. Lateral malleolar fractures in relation to the level of the distal tibiofibular syndesmosis. So this classification takes into account the fibular fractures and it is a relation to the syndesmosis. Uh, and as a result, we have three grades. Uh, the grade A is below the level of the syndesmosis, so the fibular fracture is the below the level of the syndesmosis. And grade B, which is the fibular fractures at the level of the syndesmosis. And the grade C, which uh, the, the, fibular, the fibular fracture is above the level of the syndesmosis. And uh, a reminder here, so the, the distal tibiofibular syndesmosis is formed by the anterior inferior tibiofibular ligament and the posterior inferior tibiofibular ligament and the interosseous tibiofibular ligament. Uh, so now let's. Uh, I'm going to explain the classification. So as I said, it's a three grades classification. The grade A is below the level of the syndesmosis, and it has three types: the isolated type, and type two is with medial malleolar fracture, and type three is the fracture of the posterior medial part of the tibia. Uh, Grade B is at the level of the syndesmosis and it's also a three type. Type A or type uh, 1 is isolated to fracture of the fibula, uh, of the fibula. and type B uh, and type 2, sorry, is fibular fracture with medial myelial fracture uh, or deltoid ligament injury. And type uh, B3 is with B2 means that with medial myelos fracture or deltoid ligament injury and fracture of the posterior medial part of the tibia. The grade C here is above the level of the syndesmosis and it also has three uh, types. It has type one, which is a simple diaphyseal fracture of the fibula and type two is complex diaphyseal fracture of the fibula and type 3 is the proximal fracture of the fibula. Uh, and this is here the normal the, the normal anatomy. So we have the uh, tibia here and we have the fibula and we have the talus bone and those form the ankle joint here. So we have here the syndesmosis, the distal tibiofibular syndesmosis. And here we have the talofibular ligament, which are between the tailspone and the fibula. And we have here the, the deltoid ligaments, which is between the tailspone and the medial malleolus here. So now I'm going to explain each grade in more details. So grade A, is a fracture below the level of the syndesmosis. That's for the fracture location. 
the mechanism of injury is subination adduction and the fra fracture is a transverse fracture and the tibia or fibula syndesmosis is intact and the medial malleolus is occasion occasionally fractured but the deltoid ligament is mostly intact and the fracture stability is stable if the medial malleolus is intact and this drawing explains this stage or grade so we have the a fracture in the fibula or the or fracture in the lateral malleolus right here so uh, and it is below the level of the syndesmosis so we have the syndesmosis here and we have the fracture here so it is below the level of the syndesmosis and the syndesmosis in, is intact the deltoid ligament is intact uh, the tail of fibular ligament is intact and the uh, the, the medial malleolus here is intact but in this case it is fractured and it is the same here for this case uh, so this grade there is a fibular fracture and it is below the level of the syndesmosis and there is occasion, occasionally uh, a medial malleolus fracture and that's it for the grade A so now for grade B this time it is at the level of the syndesmosis so it is a fibular fracture and it is at the level of the syndesmosis and the mechanism of injury is supination external rotation and pronation uh, abduction uh, and the fracture is a spiral or oblique uh, and the tibiofibular syndesmosis is intact or partially torn but the space between the tibia and fibula is uh, is not widened so it is the same space as in normal people but the ligament is either intact or torn partially torn the medial malleolus is could be fractured and the deltoid ligament could be torn and the fracture stability is variable so as we can see in this uh, in this drawing here so we have the, t uh, the tibia here and we have the fibula here and the fracture is at the level of the syndesmosis fibular fracture at the level of syndesmosis and there is a partially or partially torn syndesmosis are intact and the deltoid ligament is intact here and the medial myelus is intact or not fractured but it could be fractured and the deltoid ligament could be torn and that's it for grade b it's a fibular fracture at the level of the syndesmosis with occasionally medial myelus fracture of the deltoid ligament injury now for the grade c here so we have the fracture location which is above the level of the syndesmosis and the mechanism of injury is pronation external rotation uh, and the tibial fibula syndesmosis this time it is torn and it is associated with either medial myelitis fracture or deltoid ligament injury or rupture and the fracture stability is unstable and we have this drawing here so the fracture is above the level of the syndesmosis here uh, and the syndesmosis is torn and the space between the tibia and fibula is widened and there is occasionally uh, or there is either medial myelitis fracture or deltoid ligament injury in this case we have medial myelitis fracture but if we don't have the medial myelitis fracture we should have the uh, the deltoid ligament injury and that's it for this grade uh, yeah that's it for this classification thank you guys for watching please like this video and subscribe and see you in the next one